Okay, I have an interesting situation. This is a basement that's already in, or a project for a basement that's already in. It's been in for several years, and the market has changed a little bit. So my client said, uh, you know, let's, let's do a house for that. And I've done a first floor ranch uh, with three bedrooms up, uh, first floor ranch with four bedrooms up. And he said, well, can we try a, uh, just a first floor ranch period without any bedrooms up? Because it has a walkout basement. It has a lot of space downstairs. So what I generally do is a little bit more refined than a bubble diagram. But um, let's see now. I want to So I think, let's see, that looks good. So I think I like this. I'm going to keep that. And I like this. So I'll keep that. This is a generous hallway. So I need to steal some more space. So maybe only four feet wide. We don't need the stairs anymore. So I can put a bathroom in a closet here. The bathroom will have a window. And then the bedroom here. So now we have two bedrooms. Uh, let's change to different color for the counter. So I can put an island here and something like that. Okay, can, can we get rid of this? Yeah, that should all go. That's one of those big long fireplaces that's open on both sides. We definitely don't need that. I like all of the arrangements here, so I think we'll keep that. Okay, so what do we have? Bedroom, bathroom, closet, master bedroom, master bath in the dressing area looks pretty good to me. We have everything up front that works pretty well. The office works. What I was thinking is, if we put the office over here, somehow, oh, I want to erase that. Let's say we made this the office somehow. This becomes the office. Then I could put the second bedroom up here. Still have to work in the stairs to the basement. So I could leave everything the way it is. Uh, yeah, kitchen and all of that. Make this the office somehow. And then this is the other bedroom, which would need a full bath. So let's put closet and bath here. That would be the bathroom. That would be the closet. And now, maybe we're just going downstairs. What if I put the, the stairs going down over here? I don't have to go upstairs anymore. And or I could leave the stairs over there. Yeah. Let's think. I still lost the powder room. I'd like to walk into the powder room with 
some sort of an ante room, like a transitional space. I took this. I don't want to put the potter room back here. You could put the closet this way, really, really forcing it. This would be the right here, and this would be the entrance into this bedroom, and that would be the entrance into the closet. Got my pot room, my back hall lab, bedroom. And then I can leave all of that the way it is, except I don't need that stair. Or we can leave the stair there. And yeah, add this, this part of the I have my two bedrooms or one of the three bedrooms. Okay. Do this array. Let's do the three bedrooms. So we have that arrangement. Grant. It has a office. Big family library. Okay. So as I finish making those changes to my rebel model. That awesome. 